Hi, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Don't you love that? I always start with the same thing. Hi, brothers and sisters. Hi, brothers and sisters. <laughs> you ought to forgive me. It's uh, 1030 at night here where I am. And I've been on the nonstop go oh, since probably about 4 or 5 o'clock. And I'm just now sitting down. Um, you know, if you're like me, I let things go, you know, housewise and to the point where finally I'm like, okay, it's time to do something about it. And then I just like go overboard. <laughs> and, uh, anyways, so, but I am coming on here because I want to share a dream that I had. Uh, I believe it was the night before last and it, you know, I, I, I am not quite sure what it means. That's why I wanted to, you know, share it with you guys because, um, you know, get some feedback. Um, you know, I know you guys love me just as much as I love you. And, you know, we help each other whenever we can. So, um, you know, if, if you have any idea or ideas on, uh, what, you know, the meanings could be there, there could be multiple, um, or, you know, if you just, um, you know, not sure either, but, you know, I don't know. Any, any feedback is always welcome. So it's a very short dream. All right. In the dream, I am in a store and I am at the counter. I'm getting ready to, in fact, I am paying and I use the wrong credit card okay my bank card is the one that i i used my bank card which only had 22 and i know i knew this this is the real kicker too in the dream i knew it only had 22 dollars in it and so if i used the bank card because you know what i had was more what i was paying for was more than that uh i was going to be overdrawn so but I used it anyways, you know, and, and didn't even think about it until it was too late. Now, like I said, here's the kicker. All right. In the dream, I knew that I had only about $22 in my bank account. At the time of the dream, that is what I had in my bank account in real life. So, um, you know, I don't know, uh, if that's something, I, I feel it is, you know, I, I feel that could be something either way. So, but that was exactly, you know, $22 was what I had in my bank account at the time of the dream in real life. And it is what I knew I had in the dream, you know, and so uh, I hope this makes sense. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have waited till tomorrow, but to make this video, but I'm not going to. So anyways, um, so after it was done, I was like, Oh no, Oh no. You know, thinking of myself. And I asked the lady, uh, the checkout lady, I said, uh, how much was all this stuff? And she said, $33 and 33 cents. Yeah. All right. And that was, that, that was, pretty much it, you know, and I, I used the wrong card, it made me go into the negative, um, in the dream, um, and I did, I asked her, what, what was the amount, and she said $33 and 33 cents, now, uh, we all know that, uh, you know, three represents the trinity, um, but, but I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think that's it on this one. Now I have been praying on this and, um, I feel, I don't know. I feel that God, you know, I did ask him, well, could it be, you know, the Trinity and me, you know, me and God as together, you know, I, and I, I don't, I feel that he might've, I don't know. <laughs> to be quite honest, I really don't know you know, I know there's hidden meanings in this dream, 
um, not just one, but I think there's a couple, and I, I don't know. So, if you have any 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 insight, um, I would greatly appreciate it. I love you guys so much. One other thing, continue to wait upon the Lord. Um, you know, at least I, and I know many of, of you as well, never thought we'd make it here to to this time right now. I never thought we'd be here, but we are. I thought that we would be gone. I, th I thought we were going to be gone in 2015. That was the first time that I, um, you know, actually, you know, there was a date set and I didn't even know about date setting back then, you know, but anyways, uh, you know, no matter what, hold on to him. I mean, what other option is there? Leave your one and only true love. And I like saying that because, you know, you we love our kids. We love our husbands. We love our family members. But it's, to me, it, it's not a, a, a love. It's not a true love like Jesus is my one true love, you know, anyways, and I, you know, so, so what's your option? Hold out, pray, you know, that he might take things from you if you're hurting. I have to do that. You know, I had a pretty bad attack last night. That lasted for a while. I'm getting them a lot more lately. Um, and I have to pray, you know, Lord, Father, Abba, if we're not going home, like now, <laughs> your will be done. Obviously, your will be done no matter what. But I do pray that if, you know, if, if we're not going home right now, if he could take some of this um, stuff away from me, you know, some of, I'm not going to go into details, but, uh, you know, just because of time, um, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, he does, sometimes he does, and sometimes he doesn't. Because maybe sometimes he's allowing you to go through what you're going through or to feel the way you feel, uh, you know, waiting upon uh, his son. He's allowing you to do this to strengthen you to for your benefit and for his glory. But no matter what, you know, wait on the Lord. I don't believe we have much longer. Now, I have felt this way and have said this, you know, many times. I have never set a date. I got a lot of people on here, <laughs> you know, wanting to throw me under a bus because of one little thing that I say on a video, but they tune out everything else, you know. But, you know, I have felt strongly in the past that this is it. However, we can all see since the eclipse, especially, I mean, things have really heated up in my eyes. You know, all the hurricanes, yes, it's hurricane season, but not like this, bam, 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 you know, one right after another, and the, the tornadoes, and the, you know, and, and this is just, uh, you know, nature, I mean, there's other things heating up, and um, I believe we don't have long at all, you know, but if October comes, I wait for him, on November, 
I wait for them. And that's what we must do. You know, if, if you're feeling like you can't hold on any longer, talk to somebody. Talk to me. I feel that way a lot. You know, talk to me. Talk to, you know, anybody. But don't walk out. Don't leave. Okay, I love you guys so much. Keep your heads up. Repent on a daily basis because we all, all fall short of the glory of God. I love you all so much. Shalom.